San Diego police officers held a procession for two of their own today. The bodies of the married San Diego detectives who were killed in that wrong way crash were taken to the funeral home ahead of their burials. Our Jamie Chambers live for us tonight with the emotional tribute. Jamie. Andrew, is certainly a, sol a somber moment for the San Diego Police Department as they remember two of their finest officers and they took the day to really wrap their arms around family members and support them as best as they can. Dozens of officers wrapped their arms around the family members of San Diego Police Detectives Ryan Park and Jamie Huntley Park. A full color guard beating to honor their caskets as they were escorted to the Feathering Gill Mortuary, preparing their beloved officers for their funerals. Both very rising stars, superstars on this police department uh, and in the community, and it's just it, it's beyond tragic to lose these two. The married police couple in their early 30s lost to a wrong way driver last Friday. Chief Nislight says even with 2,300 employees of the San Diego Police Department, Ryan and Jamie's contributions were impossible to miss. I had the very honor of promoting both of them to police de detective, and I knew them both before. I, you know, I first met Ryan, I think in 2013, when he started running on our Baker to, Baker to Vegas team and running with him, and then I became the commanding officer of Western Division, where he was, you know, a, a patrol officer and running with him and a couple of other officers after work getting ready for, I think, the 2014 Baker to Vegas. Um, great kid, Jamie, I can't say enough about, you know, everything hockey and family and police work. As officers gathered together, there were moments shared and tears exchanged. Now the department is focusing on how to keep Ryan and Jamie close to their hearts for years to come. Did a run last Saturday at Lake Miramar in their honor, and uh, I know we'll be doing something special for them uh, as comes Baker to Vegas and next year. Now, the funeral has been scheduled for June 15th at 10 o'clock at a Rancho Bernardo Chapel.